So yeah guys, we is breaking down my book, The Curse of Red Ring, Part 1. The video that you're looking at is a guy digging up a jewelry box. Then he picked the jewelry box up and opened it and inside of it looked like human remains inside of the jewelry box. And it also some jewelry that also inside of it. Then he go dust it off and then put the jewelry ring on his finger. Now in the comment section, a lot of people was telling the guy put the jewelry box back. You don't know what could be attached to it. And this was half an idea that I got the book from because this ain't the only video that I had the idea from to write this book. It was a lot of videos that had the same concept. And I was like, how can people do this type of stuff? Take something that doesn't belong to them. So yeah guys, I'm going to make a part 2 of this video showing the different comments below that video. And a lot of people was like, yo bro, that was a good idea. A lot of people need to know these things. You could be bringing home something that could be attached to that item. And that's what I want to write about. But that will be in book two. Book one is just the blueprint for what to come in book two. And I'm telling y'all guys, y'all gonna love this book. And I'm not gonna lie to you, when I was writing this book, I had to write this book during the daytime because it was freaking me out a little bit. No lie, no cap. I didn't even want to write this during the nighttime. So I had to switch during the daytime writing this book. Don't judge me, okay, though? But check it out and see for yourself and let your boy know if this book was scary or not. Some people like horror books. If you like horror books, it may not scare you like that. But the people that don't like scary books, this might freak you out a little bit. But the first idea I came up with on top of my head about the woman end up being killed and everything, you gonna find out why she be killed. Book two is gonna be more touch about the ring and everything. And it's still gonna be a lot of killing and a lot of horror gonna take place in book two. But y'all guys got to go get book one. It set the tone that gonna take place in book two and you gonna be able to understand it more better. And you won't get lost when you start reading book two and you're going to come in my inbox and say, bro, I'm lost. And I'm going to be like, have you gotten book one first? If you read book one, it will explain more better and more detail so you can be prepared for book two. And I don't want to give too much away in book one because the book is very short. But on Kindle, the pages are longer. But again, the character to look out for is Catherine. That's all I'm going to say about that. But she is not the killer that's in this book. But I want you to read this book because her character is very interesting. So again, go get it, go get it, go get it. And stay tuned for another video of The Cursed Wedding Ring. So till next time, stay safe, be cool, be easy and stay out of trouble too. All right, peace out, America.